More on that, my colleague Jill Perkins picks up our coverage from that side of the story. Jill? Thanks, Joe. Yeah, heartbreak all over Western New York. Fans devastated to learn that Jackson will no longer be with the team. Even Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown chiming in, tweeting in part, sad to see Fred Jackson is no longer with the Buffalo Bills. Fred is a great competitor and a class act. Now, fans sad to see Jackson go, not just because of who he was on the field, but really because who he was off the field and in the community. Jackson was named the 2014 Bill. Walter Payton, man of the year for his work in our community, volunteering for different charities and treating his fans like family. It hurts inside. I, uh, I mean, he was a fan favorite. He, big part of the community. Um, I know he's getting up there in age, but still, I mean, he was a big force in the locker room. So he's going to be missed. I'm very sad about it. I mean, he was the Buffalo Bills since he was here, and. You know, too bad they just couldn't keep him in the organization somewhere. It's terrible. I mean, I wonder if Rex Ryan was watching the first play from scrimmage from the game. I mean, he's still got, he still can run in the NFL, and uh, I know he's 34, but but he, he is the Bills right now. I mean, I've got to think in the locker room that, you know, he's the leader. Yeah, and check this out. This, of course, the play many fans were talking about today. Jackson scoring the first touchdown in Saturday's preseason game against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, coming up at 6, we're going to hear, hear from Carly's Club. That's just one of the many organizations here in Western New York that Jackson was very involved with. So we'll have that coming up at 6 o'clock. For now, reporting live at the Digital Desk, Jill Perkins, 7 Eyewitness News.